This is the Botanical Gardens on campus at UCLA, but something very special is happening here. I'm Natalie Basha at UCLA, where the university just struck up a partnership with the Tongva community to give them land rights, land use for certain spaces on campus, including this very garden. She's from the Gabrielino Tongva tribe, and it's part of Kimberly Morales Johnson's identity that she is very proud of. Um, our people have been documented to be here um, through the artifacts, through the archaeology, but also through the documents. Kimberly is walking through the Mildred E. Matias Botanical Garden on the UCLA campus. Because UCLA and the Tongva community just made a deal to return portions of campus land back to the Tongva, including this garden. Kimberly was involved in that deal, called a Memorandum of Understanding, as the secretary of the Gabrielino Tongva tribe. Now we're able to say, oh, we've been here and here's the MOU that shows what we have access to and we can continue our relationship in a good way. The partnership will ensure that traditional ways of planting, harvesting, and gathering are part of campus landscaping and practices. This is a, a plant that's used up and down the state for basket weaving. Another area given in the Memorandum of Understanding is Sage Hill, an open space behind campus housing that will be used as an outdoor classroom for Tongva studies. Shannon Speed, the director of the American Indian Studies Center at UCLA, was also part of the team that drafted the MOU. Yep, all of this. It's about three and a quarter acres, I believe. And she says it was important to UCLA that the MOU go further than just a symbolic acknowledgement without any action behind it. It became obvious, I think, to the larger campus community that there was more to this than acknowledging the land, um, that relations had to be fostered, that there had to be mutual engagement and reciprocity. Kimberly hopes this is just the beginning. I would like to see access and relationship that's built on reciprocity. Not only with UCLA, but continue with other institutions, large and small, across all of Southern California.